In this video, we'll cover how to create gradients and blends. Let's start by creating a shape to apply a gradient to. Click on the Shape tool and drag your cursor to create the desired shape. Then, right-click and click on Convert to Complex Fill. Now it's time to create a gradient. Click on the Blend tab on the Object Properties pane. Then, click on the Gradient drop-down and choose a gradient type. Linear increasing fades out toward the top. Linear decreasing fades out toward the bottom. Convex fades out from the center outward, and concave fades from the outside inward. We will select Linear Increasing. Your object is already assigned a color, which is known as the first color layer. Check the second color layer box to apply a second color to create your gradient. In the color dropdown, you can have the program automatically select a color, or you can choose an existing color stop. The colors are numbered to match the colors on your color palette along the bottom. You may also add a third color by checking the third color layer box. Once you're happy with your color choices, click Apply. The program will then apply the first color layer and then apply the other color layers on top. To create blends, first draw a shape. Then right-click and select Convert To, and then Satin Stitch. On the Object Properties pane, select Blend. Then scroll down to the Satin Stitch section and select the Blend Satin Stitch effect, which will create a different colored stitch on top of the existing stitch to create a blended effect. In the gradient drop-down above, you may also customize the gradient type until you're happy with the effect. 